Thanks. Hi, Carmen. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Doing great. Uh, so I really kind of, I love how this show, one, plays with the fact that he has a giant. I'm I'm obsessed with kind of like the imagery that we get to see throughout the show. But I also do love kind of her characters, like her motherly instincts. And while like, yes, yeah, she's not like his actual mother, she still cares about him very deeply. And you can tell in the way that she's trying to protect him. And so uh, what was kind of the draw for you to be a part of this and like what made you want to play her? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wanted to play, I wanted to do anything in the show. Boots came to me and said, do you want to, I'd love you to play this character. And without really saying much more, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm there. I'm doing it. I'm cool with that. Because I can tell, you know, he, I had worked with him briefly on Sorry to Bother You in the workshopping of that movie. So I got to kind of feel him out and like figure out like, you know, what kind of filmmaker is he going to be? What kind of voice is he really? Because the script was so powerful for that movie. Um, that I was willing to jump into bed with him, <laughs> not literally, but on this movie, on this <laughs> show. Um, and um, and I was like, I don't even need to see a script. I'm, I'm, we'll, let's do it. And almost because there was no script and because he doesn't really fully know what he's doing yet, like he's still super green as a filmmaker. I think those qualities got me even more excited as opposed to got me scared because sometimes like a first time film director or TV show maker or whatever it might be it can be a really 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 rocky boat because they don't they 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 might have good intentions but they don't know how to they don't really know how to how to make it come come mm -hmm. to pass and so yeah so to make that vision you know come to become a reality is really complicated and then he made it even harder for himself by just adding all these crazy elements like puppets and false perspective and things that people haven't been using for since the beginning of film or something right but he just like you know but he has a love for for something that is outside of cgi basically and mm -hmm. um yes yeah, so this is kind of like the it's not exactly the anti-cgi movie or tv show but it certainly uses it not nearly as much as it uses other techniques. And for that reason, you know, it definitely is standalone. And there's nothing like it on, I don't think you'll see anything like it on TV at the moment. The rest no, of the year. It, oh. no, it was so cool. Like, cause I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Like I started my screener and was like, this is so <laughs> cool. And, like, it makes sense. Cause like, well, Riley, like that's kind of like what we're starting to realize you get into when you're watching his work. Like, it's gonna make you think while things are happening that you're like, what what is this going to mean? But it's yeah around to it. Uh, yep. but what for you is like the most exciting part about this show getting to come out and for audiences to get to see it? I mean, I suppose just the fact that you've got this really interesting subject matter and themes and ideas that boots have a really particular and slightly out there sort of take on it all. So I think it's exciting for the audience to sort of re rethink or reimagine some of these ideas with these through this new perspective, through this new lens. And that's often the challenge with Hollywood is, you know, it's often similar kinds of people that get to tell stories, sometimes even not on behalf of other people that should be telling their own stories. Um, and so when you finally do get a woman director that's telling a story that is very much about a female experience, just it just feels right, it feels different most of the time. Not always, but usually, right? And there's just more nuance and layers underneath. And I think the same of Boots telling the story of this 13 foot black kid in Oakland, while it's quite universal in, in the end, mm -hmm. like the way that you can experience the show, um, there's also enough specificity that only he could have told it the way he tells it. So I appreciate that about him for sure. And about I appreciate that about his um, just his courage to tell it his way um, with very little experience. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you so much for talking with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you.